Striking back at the heart of ISIS, Fox News learning that a senior aide to the leader of that brutal terrorist group may have died in a U.S. airstrike. Good morning. Welcome to Happening Now on this Thursday. I'm John Scott. And I'm Heather Nauert in for Jenna Lee today. Well, that news, as leaders from around the world convene in Wales to talk about the future role of NATO in the face of Russia's aggression on Ukraine and also the terror threat that's posed by ISIS. Squirrels. I like that one. That was yeah, interesting. It, it, it's a great line, <laughs> but if, if, you know, these are some serious, you are serious absolutely right. items we're talking about, and it's uh, sometimes you just shake your head. Yeah. Can we have a little bit of fun for just a second? Sure. Okay, because I want to talk to you about cats, right? Yeah. John, I know you love cats. So if you had trouble sharing your favorite cute cat video yesterday, well, you were certainly not alone. Arabia, not stepping up to help. For somebody to lead in this, uh, one last thing you said in the Wall Street Journal, and this has got to be getting some attention. Are saying, Karen Elliott House, thank you so much. You've got a book out about this, and you write for the Wall Street Journal as well. Thank you. Thank John? you. We have a lot more coming up. See you back here in an hour. Outnumbered starts now. Today, tough talk against ISIS at the NATO summit. Western leaders vowing to build a coalition to take military action against the brutal Islamic terrorists marching across the Middle East. Welcome to Happening Now. I'm John Scott. And I'm Heather Nauert in for Jenna Lee today. This NATO summit was meant to mark the end of combat operations in Afghanistan as the mission there winds down. Isn't answering the calls in its own backyard? Will they answer the calls and deal with ISIS? Obviously, another big topic that they're talking about at the NATO summit. 